So luckily for you guys, you didn't get too much of that um, music in the background there, as so it did get a little bit uh, louder. So welcome to our uh, next game. We're up to session number eighty-four, or season two, episode twenty-nine. Season 2 episode 29 doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Yeah. But it, it is easier to figure out where you're up to if uh, they're broken into episodic um, nature. That is true. And though an overall 84 sessions into it also um, gives you some idea of how much you're uh, dedicated to this level. Okay, so... Uh, tonight we have uh, three players online, so we'll start with M. Hello, I play Zara. Your ever lovable cleric wizard. I actually did stuff the other day. Um. <laughs> um. And obviously and no Josh nearby. Um. And obviously no Josh nearby. No, no Josh nearby. He, he does not get to do his bit. <laughs> Uh, maybe, like maybe, maybe in a second. Down. Maybe when it goes, it's oh, it'll be a very, very delayed bit. Yeah. Quite possibly. And uh, it will be interesting to see how the uh, story takes on for the characters, uh, considering how we ended last session. Okay, uh, next online we have is Ross. Yes, I play Yodri, the swashbuckling Danny. Guardian of the terror green thing called Pilfering, um, who currently is hiding in his backpack. Uh, currently, I am collapsed on the ground at the moment after being a pincushion. Well, uh, you, you did volunteer for the duty. Yeah. Well, not a volunteer to be a pincushion, but you volunteered to be the party shield. Mm. Isn't a shield essentially a pin cushion? It is. There's yeah, no but uh, normally that sometimes it actually bounces off shields. Yeah. They don't normally stay stuck in unless they're actually fairly uh, damaging. Okay, so next one up is Ariadna. Uh, otherwise known as Bala, the uh, druid, druidic elf. Uh, who's uh, currently shocked by her her return to the, the primalness of being in a lion form and tearing people apart um, from her usual I love everybody nature um, but she did have a very epic moment there where she, she pulled poor some poor guy in half uh, but now that she's, she's a druid she's having second thoughts about them that kind of thing. Yeah. Bit could violent for could her. be worse. You could have enjoyed it. Uh, well, the problem is, is that because she was a lion, she did enjoy it. Now that she's a druid, she doesn't know how she feels. So there's got to be some contemplating of naval fluff to reconcile those two sides. Are you saying that you gave into the beast? Yeah, pretty much. And do we have a Josh back in the room? Hi, I'm the Paladin! Oh god! My face! <laughs> Joined by my failed Ranger party member! There you go. <laughs> and we have a couple of players missing uh, for various reasons. So, uh, last session, uh, it had been a couple of months since we had played in real time, and uh, I think most people forgot what their characters were, especially, especially with life and uh, spell casting and combat not being as common as uh, it, it had been for quite a while. Uh -huh. So it, well, it was a rather interesting um, combat with... Uh, having to look at various things. Mm. Could be worse. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, this session we... Uh, I have a feeling he's going to be so gone this way because he's literally clean, so I'll be back in a second. Oh, 
Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just I won't be at the table for fifty-six. Okay. So yes, um, uh, you had gone in to discuss with the Duke the strange pl proclamations he had been making. Uh, after uh, hearing that he had pretty much declared war on a nation as a township and then proceeded to sneak through his palace um, uh, breaking trying to break into his vault and then uh, completely uh, attack first his um, guardsmen and wipe them all out uh, ending the session with uh, one of them uh, swapping places with the dead using um, a form of magic. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Uh, <laughs> hey, you I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't. That just freaked me out. Yeah. And so the uh, druid had flown out the window. Can you smell something? Yeah. Very strong owner for me. Okay, uh, it's okay. You keep running. That's just. Right. You may have done it behind the curtains oh. as well. On the couch. Yeah. Uh, the theory I'm not Yeah. Um. Uh. Basically, because he gets upset with things not being exactly the way he likes it, he likes to poop um where other people sit. Okay. Of course. Of course. Yeah, you're having cats. Yeah, yeah, cats. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's my birthday and I'll poop where I want to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yes, um, we ended last session with you finding the details that uh, some people had changed places. Do you need me to do it? Well, I might get people to describe uh, how they appear while I go up, while I fix this. So we'll start off with your dream. Sorry, my gag reflex isn't very good. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not feeling too well after I got all these bloody arrows stuck in me. It was a crossbow bolt, weren't they? Uh, I feel crossbow bolts, and I think you also got stabbed a few times. No, I didn't get stabbed. I got shot. Oh, you got just like that? I got shot multiple times. I think, didn't I almost go down? I think I got, I got like, flashed somewhere at well, some point. We did also yeah. have, um, uh, Cheval go down a few times. Yeah, at least once. I went down one. You went down once. Yeah. But yeah, it took me a while to get you back up, I think. But it was kind of, yeah. Yeah, and a <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to all day. We're really looking, watching the um, bard. I'm sure he said he's, he's a, he follows the trickster god or whatever. Yep. And then you hear the shattering of the window as the uh, druid flies out. Uh, just as behind you, the Seriously, doors. Couldn't it conveniently been open. Just. You know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the woman who makes you coffee and brings you food. It couldn't just happen to be open. I didn't say you took damage. Well, we're only going to be four now because you, you mentioned it. <laughs> then, then it's not as funny, right? <laughs> You're tired. Yes, I am. Sorry. Uh, I, I will get you coffee before I teach you more. That would be helpful. And then you see uh, from the other side of the room, the room burst open and a squad of dwarves come rushing in. From the other side? Uh, yes, the, the way you'd come in. Um, because, well, hey, there, there, there were no guards. Yes. <laughs> That's true, because we just took them all out. So we've all the guards that basically are strewn around us now, eh? Uh, except for the fact that you've got the captain of the guard standing with you. Ah, okay. And the dwarves yell out, um, attack. They, they, yeah, they yell out, you cut out. That, they, the dwarves yell out, attack, so, uh, you guys get to start off with initiative. Oh, God. Hooray! Uh. 
Well, yeah. well, you do have the person who had started the whole um, uh, incident standing with you. Uh, I, I got a 20. Natural 20? Nah. Do I have to roll? If, 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 it was a, if I, I got a natural 20, that would be a 31. Where am I, where am I today? Uh, you, you are Zal, the uh, <laughs> poison for Josh. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my Janabi BFF. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the captain of the guard got killed by a certain fiery paladin. Uh, yes, but someone changed forms with them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. They ended the session changing forms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, have, no, and how I set up the next session, um, it sort of left you in a really bad place. So, the paladin didn't actually take out... No, 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 so he did go down. What happened was, uh, it, what's David's character's yeah. name of him? Koroi. Koroi. Koroi um, used his magic yeah. to turn into the lookalike of your father. Not only that, he changed your father to look like him, so it looked like you actually killed Koroi instead of your father. <laughs> the thing is, I never killed him. I just simply went out of the way and actually punched the father. And the, rest of the rest of the party did. And I, if I remember, if I remember he said me correctly. Oh, yeah. Val was the one. Pretty sure that was me. And, and also, the back chat was, oh, it's just revenge for you killing my parents. Do you remember person. that back chat? That, that was because it was funny. Um. Um, I don't know who killed who. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, no, because I, I think I did the chain lightning, and I kept, uh, I kept concentration off. That's you did, yeah. to make sure he, he went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Total power. So what was uh, Zal's initiative? Uh, it was... Thirteen. I oh, know, amazing. Amazing. Uh, totally. And totally how about Shobel? Sorry? How about Shobel? Uh, 16. Oh, come on, that's, that's normal, but. Uh, <laughs> that's true. Okay, so after the dwarves have kicked the door in and yelled um, attack, uh, what does Yodri do? Okay. I am going to do what I wanted to do last time. Yep. In doing the non-lethal thing, I am going to yell at them. Stop! Stay where you are. Can we talk? Oh, talk about this. And I'm going to point the uh, that glass thing. Was it that? Magical items. Okay, so you, you you reach for your flask and realize it's still in the other room. You haven't had a chance to uh, pick uh, it up because uh, it's the it's. Combat hasn't gone much further than uh, a uh, round where everyone did stuff. Uh, uh, uh. And you still got arrows sticking in you. Yeah, I still got arrows. I can still do a fee. Uh, so, um, how many uses of fear does that ring have? I've got one more use before then the rest will be recharged. How many uses does it normally have? It normally has three. Okay, because la- oh, I was asking, because you had used it twice last session, you said you didn't yeah. have any left over. Yeah, I've got one left over. So you're using it now? No, I'm going to use it con- uh, on a condition. If they continue uh, charging in, yep. if they don't stop, if I go, can we talk about this part? I'm basically putting up my hands in that because I'm not act- I don't actually have any weapons. Actually, no, I've got the bow. Actually, no, I have my sword out. So, yeah, the sword's beside me. So, yeah, basically, if they continue charging in, I'll then cast it. Okay. And that brings us to Chauvel. What does Chauvel do with the sounds of the dwarves yelling, um, uh, kill them? Um, go. Oh, I'm up. Uh, 
keep going rather than being screaming at my face. Um, you, you have six dwarves looking at, looking like they're about to use you as a pin cushion. Could I use me as a pin cushion? Yeah. And, and, look, and Negri has yelled, stop, can we talk about this? Hi. And then an action. In what language did Jodri yell that out in? Uh, Dwarvish. Dwarvish? Yeah. Well, surprisingly, I understand that, because, you know, Dwarvish. I'm pretty sure you do. Hey, not everyone learnt languages. I'm pretty sure I've got Dwarvish too. I believe you. I believe you talked Dwarvish to one of the others. So what does Shervel do? You have, you've, you've got uh, six dwarves running at you with um, axes. Axes? Yep. I'm gonna... Mia... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna yell out in one. Um, I'll just say it in comments. <laughs> I'm not in the mood, I'm awfully confused, and if you want to end up like the friends, get out of here. Yes. Okay. So, uh, then we're over to Zal. Oh my god. Um, uh, I'm sure you'll have someone answering that anytime soon now. I'm, I'm really sure. Oh my god, you did it. Uh, was that actually in character or out of character? What? Probably a bit of both. No. Well, we go and over oh, not again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably, probably, probably in character. Um, I will somewhat quickly translate to uh, now that Yodri is yelled in Dwarvish for them to cease. Um, and I'll probably spend my action explaining in Dwarven to the dwarves who are charging at us. Um... The person you see is an illusion. Um, please believe us. Okay. So. Yes. Uh, cold egg is fine for me. I really wish I had this charm. <laughs> yes, that would come in handy. Okay. Just making sure I don't throw something too terrible at you. Because you know that can't happen by accident. Actually, what level is this charm? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh sir. So, um, you see uh, uh, six shining, um, glowing axes fly through the air towards the uh, group of you. Apparently, they're um, asking a question. I love it when doors. Uh, access a question. Okay. That's annoying. Martin, yeah. Is there any room for Violet to hear any of this? Realize her group is still in trouble and turn back? In a moment, yes. I just thought I'd give you a chance to uh, um, settle first. Yeah. Okay, so. Would a 15 hit your drink? No, it could not. Well, that's, that's what Just as well. Uh, would a uh, nine hit Chauvel? You, you, you sort of heard the scoff laugh about it. If you are bare naked and unconscious, maybe. <laughs> would, would a 15 hit Sal? 
I don't know. I don't think so, actually. I think my AC is staying. Uh, let me double check that. Uh, yes, my AC is 16. Amazing. And apparently, Koroi caught an axe. And you do hear someone say in Dwarven, um, they're lying, it's not an illusion. Kill them! Oh my god. As, uh, who's the one who said it was an illusion, Yodri? No, I did not. I said, let's talk about that, it. Sorry, that, that was a paladin. So another actor is flying towards the paladin after he scoffed. Uh, but no, it was it was it was me who said it's it's an illusion because I didn't I didn't know what term to use because I don't know what type of magic it's all good. to do it. So. so in which case another um axe goes bouncing off your armor. Luckily you're wearing yeah. armor today. <laughs> Yay. And um at that point they then charge so um that ticks off uh yodri's um held action yep so yeah. that get hit, so yeah. that get hit with, a, with my fear spell so they need to make a wisdom saving throw difficulty of 13. just looking up here to make sure after the uh, few uh, issues we had last time. Okay, so fear, one action, 30 foot burn. I'm not happy to say they're all in it. But a video wasn't a bard and start singing why can't we be friends? Okay, so what is the DC of your um uh, uh thirteen? Okay, so it looks as if uh three of them have succeeded and three of them have failed. We are now up to um uh Chauvel's turn. Uh, yeah. No, uh, some of them have been hit by a spell. Oh, okay. I'm actually listening. Sorry. Um, so I didn't, I didn't, re I didn't realize that we had um, Yodri's turn again already. No, no, he, no, 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 I waited. Oh, that's right. You waited. He ready. Yeah. He ready. That's right. Ready. ready. Yeah. I, and so there are okay. three, three well, dwarves ready. within. Uh, there are three dwarves within melee range of Chauvel. Having just thrown um, an axe, they still have two axes in their hands. Yep. Uh, I'm going to grab any one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Well, I have my sword already. I'm going to. Oh. Uh, that did not sound. Was it a bad roll? I didn't hear what happened. I just heard a um, sad sound. Uh, yeah, she uh, hit her head on the back of the couch. Oh. So I, I believe me just critically fumbled. Yeah, yeah, it did critically fumble. Um, so, Shavala, yeah, we'll grab a mini one of them. Um, and now, remind me, Martin, it's yeah. just the delay, I can't, like, hold an action until someone does something. Uh, you can hold, you, you can, uh, delay, but you've already used an ability, which means you can't actually have vowed and delayed, because oh, okay, no, delays yeah, cool, hold gotcha. up your entire, entire thing. As an action, you can choose a trigger to trigger a, a specific action. No, 
I will um, attempt to um, intimidate them by like really glowing hot red. Give me an intimidation roll. Uh, 25. Okay. I believe they'll feel very intimidated at that point. Mm. Luckily, I do have some extra rolls around that sort of thing. Mm. Uh, you do see them um, uh, hesitate for a moment, but then uh, um, most of them uh, uh, look as if they they still their resolve. So it's okay. now up to Zal. Uh, she's gripping me up, changing her at the moment. So I believe Zal is uh, delaying. Yeah. That brings us to the dwarves. Okay, so. Having been feared, making sure what fear says again. I should have bookmarked it. Okay, uh, three of them dash out of the room, going out of sight. Uh, you see um, the three in the room pull out a potion and uh, drink it. Having uh, uh, have it ready. And as they do so, they seem to uh, grow partially in size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As their their muscles sort of get um, bigger, they're, um, uh, they're they're looking angrier. You see froth starting come out of their mouths. So they had testosterone. Well, maybe they just red bulled it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, a nasty thing. A um, potion of um, giantism with a potion of rage. And and with flight. Uh, that's interesting. Definitely need to play a known artificer or an alchemist up and sell it. Yeah, red blue okay, potion. So, uh, that would be uh, an armor class 22 to hit um, uh, Chauvel this time. Yeah, that hits. E. Okay, so the person strike you with. Um, With a, a uh, two axes. Mm -hmm. Dealing uh, 12 points of damage. 12? Okay. So, uh, how much did you have left? Uh, I have to go into my sheet. That's, that's what I've got down here. Yeah. And uh, then one goes for Yodri. Uh, uh, hitting an armor class of. Um, that was 25. Uh, I'm dodging. You're dodging, so that takes half damage? Yep. Uh, Martin? Yep. I don't think your dice cam is working. I don't think my dice cam is working. I can actually say my dice cam is not working. Mm. There we go. There we, we, go. Got, we got the dice cam working again. And uh, Yodri gets smacked about for uh, 16 points of damage, yeah. down halved to um, uh, 8. Yeah, I think that makes me down to, what was it, 5 now, isn't it? 
Um, do you keep track of where you were last time? I think I was 13. I had you down to 7. 7. Oh, okay. I did, I've, I've been going up and down as a yo-yo, so I think 13 was the last one before I got knocked out. Yeah, so 7 probably sounds about right. Mm -hmm. I know it was bloody low. So just as well. You, you had um, someone give you a um, boost of six hit points when you were on one hit points at the end of yeah. last session. Yeah. So I guess that means your down again. No, I'm on one. Well, I actually had you down as seven hit points because I was keeping track of everything last session. Yeah, but didn't you say I took six damage? Uh, no, I said eight. Oh, eight. Okay, yep. Uh, I did not manage to heal and walk very much because we haven't had a yeah. chance <laughs> And that brings us to um, Sol um, being attacked. I'm being attacked. Yep, so that would be probably hitting a armor class 25. Uh, that's a, uh, I don't think I have much hit points of evil. Yes. That does not look good. So that was uh, 14 hit points um, done to damage done to Zal. I don't think I healed myself because my current hit point from last session I'm pretty sure was 17. It is on 17. Um, it is 17. Yeah, so... I'm still standing. I'm still standing. But just... Okay. And now it is Zell's turn. Um... Um... It was... I mean, one of them is now in touch range, I'm guessing. Yep, there's at least two in touch range of you. <laughs> having um, uh, gone and uh, uh, engaged um, some dwarves in a little hand to hand. Mm -hmm. Or should I say axe to um, mm -hmm. face? Mm -hmm. um, I am. I should have noted down how many. Um, spells I used last session, but I'm pretty sure I've got plenty of level 2 slots left. Um... How many level 2 slots do you normally have? I would need to reference the book. Um... I don't know where my book is! That knows my Pathfinder book, so I shouldn't have my D&D book. Slightly different game. Yeah, no, no. So what level? Uh, you're level uh, six. I am level seven. Seven, yes. Okay. Pretty sure I have the page book Yes, I do. Seventh level. Glory. Uh, Three second level spell slots, mm -hmm. but you got a whole one left. Uh, a whole one left. No. Um, then just might have to let Bob in the bed in a minute. Um, I will do my turn, and then we might mute ourselves for a little bit. That is um, true. I am going to second level cast a in fleet wounds. Okay, so as you cast a spell in melee, one of your opponents uh, reacts, um, having the uh, uh, anti spell cast effect. Oh, Slayer. Yeah. And yeah, I've well. for you, he misses. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, 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 and this is indeed a miss. And this is a very thankful miss. I thought, can you not come in the death room, please? What is inflict wounds? Is will be four d ten.
Uh, I mean, to be honest, the level one. Actually, no, it's a second level spell, isn't it? Oh no, it is first level spell. Uh, it is a first level spell that you cast at second level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just even at first level, it's three to ten. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, that is not a detent. No, where are my defense? I believe you still also have to do a touch attack. Uh, yes, you're probably right there. Well, I have a 17 on the dice, so, um, we're gonna get right in it. Come on, 17. 22 to hit. 22 is a hit. 22 is a hit. We're gonna want to stay in the middle. We're up in the middle. Let me. Yeah, hold up. Hold on, I'm trying to find that. I'm not being very successful with the. Oh, I'm not gonna draw all those ones again. No, that's not very good. Jesus Christ. Um, wow, that is like... What, four damage? <laughs> no, almost. Uh, one, plus two, plus four, plus eight. <laughs> uh, so 15 damage in total. That was a really, really low roll. A one and a two, four, and then eight. That does hurt. That's bad, so that attack. Uh, yeah, so that attack. <laughs> it's well below average. Okay, and then we get to Yodri having a dying saving throw. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna DC from... Oh, you first. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, the then money will Alright. Well, don't go, this will then you... And then, okay, a little bit. Nice. So what is Yodri doing? With his death save? I haven't heard a roll. Yep, okay. Death save. It's just a con save, isn't it? It is a flat um, d20, I believe. Oh, that's right, yeah, flat d20. Uh, Okay, that is a 10. That is a 10, so I believe a 10 plus is a success. Yep. Okay, I'll just stay down. Okay. And then it switches out to Thala flying outside, um, escaping from uh, stuff. Uh, she does see uh, Drazzle down uh, at the base of the place. He didn't go inside with you. Did he, is this one of those occasions where he said he couldn't go inside? He just didn't follow you in. Um, have I heard enough commotion on my way out to know that there's still got trouble? There does seem to be some commotion happening in there as you fly out. Probably give you a would have right? heard, um, mm -hmm. probably regret it. I can roll for you commotion. with the sparkly dice. Apparently it was a, a, a fairly mid-range roll, a 10. Uh, I think I'm a plus 5 or 7, it depends on the character. You fixed it up for me. So plus 5. Plus 5, there you go, so 15. So 15, yes, you do hear the sound of combat and yelling from behind you as you're And we've already in. come out from some pretty heavy combat. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will fly down to Drazzle and tell Drazzle that I think we need reinforcements. Okay. Um, and is there anything he can do to help? Drizzle says something he can do. Mm -hmm. uh, and he starts to walk in. Okay. I will change into Thala and accompany. Um, so you can always just sit on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure that the hawk form, whether or not I should fly back in through the now broken window and see whether or not I can heal somebody now that I've got help coming. Um, is that how many actions, and that, is that all my actions? 
Well, you've flown down, talk to him, so yeah. that would probably be... Is um, that everything? Yeah. Yeah, well then, um, I guess uh, because he might not know where to go, I'll stay with him. Mm -hmm. So, for now I'll land on his shoulder, uh, just checking, I can change back in to Thala at any mm -hmm. point, right? Okay, so uh, coming back to Cheval, who's standing in the middle of a bunch of dwarves attacking him, uh, yep. uh, Cheval finds that everything seems to slow right down. Slow right down? Yep, and you, you can't even seem to move. <laughs> Drizzle. Oh, I can't move. Drizzle. And n none of the uh, dwarves seem to be moving either. No. Uh, th there is an axe, you know, about an inch from your face at the moment. Yeah. As you're yeah. glaring, as you're glaring at it. <laughs> that's that's well, quite the close. Probably a sword. Probably a sword. Just about to nick them on jugular. Why am I having a flash? You know, without those flash moments where everything stops, like in X Men, and the guy goes really fast suddenly. Puts on some classical music while he, he goes um, around. And I'm, I'm going to be yeah. down here. Yeah, that's why I thought I'd uh, give you that um, visualization. See that little sweet dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you have to re-experience the same thing as does uh, oh, a very weird feeling considering it hasn't happened to you very often. Well, I'm still unconscious. Uh, yes, but you're. Um, you're now unconscious more slowly. Yeah. <laughs> You're now dreaming. And it, it feels like it takes ages for uh, Drizzle to shuffle all the way up there. Um, look, Drizzle's coming to help. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to accompany him. Um, Drazzle does everything in his own time, I've learned. I think I've been around Drazzle long enough to know that. Um, obviously, I won't necessarily know that things have slowed down up there, or do I? Well, as you're walking, you, you do see a couple of um, dwarves looking like they're running, but uh, currently they're in mid they're in mid air, not moving. Okay. Uh, just as if they're, you know, feet, you're about to land on their feet, and mm -hmm. Drazzle just walks past them. Oh, and th in that case, I would, I, I'm presuming I'm smart enough to figure out that's, that's Drazzle. I don't think we want to kill the dwarves because we like the dwarves. Are the dwarves only going against us because they think we killed Koroi? Well, there's the uh, Koroi is dead on the ground. You are work. You appear to be working with the um, person who's been making the proclamations of war against them. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Which is very hard to understand. How far away, um, like, we saved um, Nithi, Dithi, Glatha, um, and all that uh, three or four sessions ago. Mm -hmm. um, how far away are they from where we are? No way of knowing, I'm guessing, or Vandleth? Not easy way of knowing. There's a good chance that they um, left because of the proclamation. Yeah, yeah, because we did warn them all off. Mm -hmm. um, That's not unusual for. Uh, people to send reminders of why they shouldn't, you know, declare war. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll wait till we get up to where the rest of the group is. So, uh, you, you find yourself shuffling into the room on top of um, Joshua's shoulder. Yeah. As you see three dwarves looking a lot bigger than you'd expect. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, for dwarves. Yeah. And... I really need to learn an unconsciousness spell as so I just make them more unconscious. Well, Joshua seems to have gotten that down there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you see, Yodri smiling on the ground. He's, he's, he's cast it on himself. Um, and I guess we're too far away from people like Xanathorn, but since we've got Drazzle, I think that's that's probably enough, I hope. And as he wanders in, he, he seems to look around and shake his head mm. and saying, I thought it couldn't be worse than last time. <laughs> I, <laughs> if a hawk can laugh, I, 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 I give him that kind of air. Uh, can I talk to him psychically while I'm a hawk? 
Possibly. You've never trained. Well, I, I try to send him as like, surely you've hung out with us long enough to know <laughs> that it can always get worse. <laughs> okay. now, as you talk to him, he holds up a biscuit. Yeah, is that for me? You, you think so. Okay, well, I, I will have the biscuit. It's From everyone else's perspective, they just see this uh, <laughs> hawk going squawk, squawk, feathers, feathers, look, looking very happy, and then it's been given a biscuit. Look, it looks like we've got time for me to have a biscuit. I might as well have a biscuit. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't want to harm these dwarves. Um, do we have, like, can I try and... Oh, I, I don't even know if we can, I think. You see, uh, uh, at this point, um, Druzzle sits down, pulls out his book and starts drawing the scene. Right. Um, I turn into me. Um, can I dispel magic on the doors? You could. Would that, would that work? If it's magical effect. Okay. Oh, if it's a potion, it's probably It may not. be a chemical instead of magical. Okay, Which right. And if I do a dispel magic, that might dispel Drazzle's magic. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to do that either. Um, all right. Well, the first thing I want to do is check on Yodri. Um, and I do believe I've got cure wounds somewhere here. Um, here it is, cure wounds. Um, they always go onto another page when they're on. Uh, so it's um, 1d8 mm -hmm. uh, plus an extra d8 for each one above. Do I have to roll a d20 to do cure wounds? Uh, no, you don't. You, do, okay. you, can, you don't have to attack okay. to do so. Do you happen to have some d8s there? I'm sorry, mm -hmm. my hands are killing me. How many? Um, so, um, if I'm... Well, you can stabilize him with a single, um, dice, um, doing a level one cure wounds. Let's, let's do... Is there a reason why I wouldn't try and do fire? Uh, because you're not sure who needs the, uh, saving the most. Most, and okay. Yep, yeah, alright, so I'll stabilize him then with just one. Thanks. Okay, so, uh, he, he's, a uh, his eyes pop open on oh, 70 nice points. Guys. How have I not stolen them off you? Because they're my GM dice. Yeah, okay. That's and they're hidden away from everyone. Yeah, but, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd do that if I was you. They're real pretty. So, um, did that add seven to... No, to he, it means he's now on seven. He's just on seven, yeah. But because when you're down, you start on yeah. zero, and then you go up from there. Does it look like, uh, of any of the dwarves, one of them's dressed more like a leader than the others? Hard to tell. Okay. Um, what, who looks like they're most in need of help right now? Uh, would it be the axe an inch away from the, um, paladin who could probably take the hit, but, um, may not want to have an axe to the face today? Possibly, but you're not exactly sure what's happening with the magic yet. What's going, okay. Um, would I use detect magic or is that too many actions? Well, you could do a detect magic, you're not sure how long it's passing. Yeah, I'm not sure how long it's passing. But I want to stop the dwarves from actually... And, and tell me if I can't do this. What I'm hoping to do is to find some rope in on one of us, presuming one of us has some rope, and to just tie up the three dwarves that are remaining in a big bundle together, just long enough so that when the spell wears off, we can talk to them. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? You can try. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've got some good news and bad news. Right. Good news is I'm no longer dying. Yeah. Bad news is you've now got th another three irate dwarves. So what do you mean? Because uh, um, when he they're he no longer feared. When he went unconscious, the fear... Oh, okay, the so there's dwarves. six dwarves in the room, not three. No, the other three are still outside the room. They haven't made it back. Okay, um, so I want to close the door, maybe. <laughs> you close the door. Um, and then tie up the other dwarves, so... and. Okay, so you spend some time tying up the dwarves. Taking uh, away their immediate weapons. When you um, 
finished tying them up, uh, you see Drizzle has finished drawing his picture. And I have a look at it. Yeah, look, uh, you, you can see the scene of the room of everyone looking um, very... Um, uh, it's very much a, a moment in time, like he's taking a snapshot of it. Uh, I'm like, you're getting better and better the more and more you do this. H helps to send them backwards, he says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, and then he, he starts casting as well. Okay, alright. Um... I was going to look up something as well. Uh, languages. So, languages for you. I do you, speak Dwarven. Good, good. You speak... Uh, I just wanted to make sure I spoke Dwarven. Yep. Uh, so I can communicate with the Dwarves. Which ones are Um So my languages, I've got Common, Alphatian and Thyadin, Druidic, Dwarven, Elven, Alphine, Ethingarian, Orkish, and Sylvan. I wish you forgot to add it to the front page here. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's something the GM forgot to do. Yeah. Okay, uh, I was actually looking something up and yeah. I got distracted. Spell, um, Drazzle. No, I w nope. was looking something else up. I'll take the moment to. Do you want to screen? Sorry, um. Yeah, not, not doing well with distractions yeah. right now. Um. Okay, so... Uh, as uh, he casts his spell, you see uh, pages start to flick um, backwards in the bookwards. In the book, you see pages of his book start to flick backwards. Oh, that's interesting. And when they stop, you find yourself um, uh, currently at the uh, sitting at a table at the Temple of Freya, having okay. a meal. So we've gone back in time? Uh, you, th you think he's just uh, uh, rewound some time. Okay. So the last time we were at the Temple of Freya... Um, Merv became Mervina. Oh, wow, we've gone back ages. Okay. You have gone back... Um, we've, we've gone back... 13 a, days. Yeah, we've gone back quite a bit. So, Mervina may no longer be Mervina anymore. Still, still sitting there as Merv. Merv, okay. Um, just, do, do, am I cognizant that of, of the time change? You are, because uh, for one of the few times you weren't dead when it happened. Okay. So, um, um, I, I, just, I just put my hand heavily on Merv's shoulder and say, just take my word for it. Don't do the trick you're thinking of now. Leave it for later. <laughs> because I'm fairly sure if there was anything Merv the player would want to undo, it would be that. So if I can cast some kind of influence in convincing Merv to do that, even if the real player never discovers about it, at least we fixed it for him. Um, alrighty, so um, I look at Drazzle and I'm like, uh, shall we try again? Drazzle asks, um, uh, which try again? Hopefully the right one this time, and I give him a cookie. He's quite happy he puts it in his bed to give you a letter. Yeah. Um, Pardon? Yep. Go We've gone back in time, but yeah. has it undone some of the stuff that's happened in the last 14 days, or are we still... It has undone everything that you've done in the last 14 days. Yep. Okay, so I am I am no longer feeling icky from having my uh, bloody earth nature changed. 
Uh, you are no longer feeling icky having your nature change, and as you think that, you hear a chuckle in the back of your head, and you flame over with the um, pain of um, uh, finding out about your aunt and um, everything that happened then. So, so, so some gods um, do things um, through time. Some gods do things through time. Oh God! Literally. Uh, you, 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 you hear I still have not had a chance to talk to my god. You have not had a chance to talk to your god about it? No. No, but you now do, because wasn't there... You've now got, what was it, a couple more days before you've got your... Um, I know somebody else has had the optimum time to contact their god. So... I think we've gone back to session... Is it 79? Well, let's see. Do, do, do. It was session 78. 78, yeah. So I, I, was, I was roughly right. So you now have uh, memories of things that have happened that may never happen. And things that we need to avoid. Considering you had been uh, uh, sent here to investigate... Uh, uh, the air cult people yeah, that's why you come in this direction and when you ran into them you decided to just leave them alone and come back and do them later okay um, I say uh, since Drazzle has gone to all the trouble of bringing us back here we need to head to um, Feather, Feather Gale Tower, I think it's mm -hmm. called. Um, and uh, the senior Feather Knight, Sir Moroska, um, who had personally, I believe, invited us up for a visit. So he hasn't invited you yet? He hasn't invited us yet? Yes. Okay. So he, my, my notes are really... It, it depends on how well my hands are working. He invites you on the way to... Um, uh, Varuna, so if you head that direction, you will right. most likely run into them again. Yes, so I suggest we head that way and uh, hope to get ourselves an invitation to Feathergale Tower. So which how is what we were originally supposed to do in the first place. So how does um, uh, Choval and Zal and Yodri feel about the fact that they've now just experienced um, uh, 13 days that uh, never happened? So I'm so Josh can't hear you for the moment because yep. his um, his Maybe. Discord has decided to stuff up <laughs> his headphones and mic. <laughs> As it seems to do nowadays. As it seems to. Um, I so sorry. I'm, I kind of missed what you said happened when I was like, do I? Well, you, you seem to freeze in place and then um, blink and you were sitting uh, at a table in the Temple of Freya and you realised that it was 13 days prior. Right, okay. And, um, because I was, I was asking as a, as a player about, um... About whether or not you had um, gone back to being Earth. You look down at yes. your hands and, and, and body and notice that the uh, brown that you're used to just... Uh, uh, slowly changes to red. So I still am... Um, the icky red, it? yes. You're still the icky fire. I'm still icky fire? Okay. At least I now have an opportunity to talk to my god. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Hopefully. And, 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 go, and go, what the hell has happened in the last 13 days. To be honest, I remember wanting to go to the air temple and we got like halfway there. Yeah. I got attacked by goblins yeah. and then honestly I don't remember why we turned back. I don't think that was any I, I honestly I'm not sure why we didn't continue on to the the Feathergale place because that that was our that was what we were told that's what we're being paid to do. Well you can go and watch session seventy eight to see why you um did what you did. I will, but yeah. you watch by uh, the time I get to the end of session seventy eight I won't remember what I, I just think watched. it's because of a certain cursed guy and the dwarves and everything uh, that was happening. Yeah. It's okay, Certainly. we've gone we've got a second chance. I, I say we take full advantage of it. 
and try to oh, actually yeah. do what we were told to do. No, no, no. <laughs> By all means, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad because yeah. I think we got completely off the rails. And I, I just, I, honestly, the last couple of sessions have gone like, why are we doing this? To be honest, I think, think Martin's been thinking about this over the last two weeks because when I was talking to him about it, like, obviously our conversations can't be really open because um, I have trouble remembering things just all up but when he he was telling me he's been thinking about it a lot I kind of got the sense that um, he's, he's kind of figured out a way to put us back on track and having now got to this point I can see you know he's done he's managed to do exactly that so that's worked out really well Thank you. In case we forget to say thank you. Because sometimes you get distracted. Mm -hmm. Ed, how does your feel about it all? Uh, I'm confused. This tiny, whiny, god thing, whatever. Uh, um, and I'm annoyed I can't get drunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that ever changed, so... Yeah! I need to smoke something. Um, I, I, I ask one of the fellow priesty people, is it anything that, you know, it's just a little bit light-hearted that we can get for Yodri to help with his mild malaise. Light? Is there got anything that can actually knock me out? Why do you want to be knocked out? She picks up, a, <laughs> that priestess picks up a big mace and says, this will help. Um, I call it sleepy time. I, I uh, hope she's joking. No, 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 no. Something that'll give me happy dreams, not a splitting headache after I wake up. They can fix the headache. <laughs> so I can the fail ranger. She looks around going, I can't see a ranger around here. <laughs> point, to, point to the cleric. I don't know that you should diss the ranger while she's not here to defend herself. I can hear her in the background. So she's very quiet at the moment because I believe they're in the middle of doing stuff. Yeah, they're, they're taking oh. care of uh, baby parenting duties. I think your mic's reset and you've gone very quiet. I can like hear her, but she's like far away. She says she thinks the mic is reset. Yeah, and that? You're a bit You're a bit louder. So uh, if you could turn up your mic uh, further, that would also be helpful. Yeah, just just give us one second. We're going to be permitting. Oh, good. That's better. That I'll is a lot better. I'll just use my mic. Yeah, no, because I'm using my headset mic rather, because we've been using Josh's um, big um, streaming mic, but because everything is just reset, um, it's now not as loud as it was before. <laughs> um, oh. So Thea, um, how good are you with um, herbs and that? Oh, pretty good. I'm a druid. Yeah. So are you um, the uh, groovy druid that knows the stash? Um, I, I'm a groovy druid who probably knows their stash but doesn't use it like all good druids. I'm sure you can pull out their medicinal help people sleep um, herbs. Yeah, I, I can certainly put something together to help you sleep if you're having trouble sleeping. I, I'm sure they're kept in the same um, help people sleep permanently um, uh, bag as well. No, no they're not. Um, we know better than that. Well, isn't it just about how much you give them? To a degree. Uh, I, I don't think an overdose of marijuana has ever actually happened, but... Um, you just pass out before it happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would, it's, just, it's it's kind of one of the things that goes for like when people are talking about legalizing um, drugs right. of various sorts. The the only thing that's really in marijuana's favor is that you don't really overdose on it. Yeah, is that it on volume? That is fantastic on volume. Beautiful. Well, yeah, it was because I had to restart my entire microphone. It set the uh, input volume to 50 on the computer. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah. Hey. You might need to turn it down and down. It's now super loud. <laughs> um, Let's go. So, why this um, obsession with um, getting a good night's sleep? It's never been brought up as being a problem before. Uh, it's just my nerves and uh, due to the fact that I can't get drunk and all this shit's happening. I see. And gods be crazy. I see. Alright, well, I'm sure we can set you up with some medicinals to help. Some herbal medicinals to help. And are we actually in the same time period that we would be, or are we going to actually see ourselves again? Um, as far as I understand it, you should take this as a chance to um, start anew from today. Uh, everything that we do right now will is, isn't fated to be the same as what it was before. Does that make sense? Uh, no, that's why I need the drugs. Um, Look, this is just a nasty dream. Jazz will hand you a blue mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, blue mushroom, blue mushroom. I don't... Uh, you see... Uh. You see, look, I'm talking about, like, soft stuff, like marijuana, and Drazzle pulls out the hardcore mushrooms. If anyone um, knows so about the Would that does. be, um... Let's see, survival to work out what the um, mushroom properties would be? Sure. Uh, um, okay. It looks edible. Uh, um, yeah, I'm on it. Okay. Uh, I roll. I roll badly. Give me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> uh, it's a 19. Mm, yeah. Okay, so, uh, as you're munching on it, nothing seems to happen. There are times you want to fail. He doesn't even feel a little bit more sane. Oh. What what did it taste like? It's blue t- mushroom. Mm. Let's go with blue macaroon. Sorry. Filter. I was going to say it, it tasted like um, uh, forgotten dreams. Oh. Okay. Um, has he got any more of that? He pulls out another uh, two of them, put them in front of you. Okay, um, I'm gonna make up some type of stew or something like that to have something to eat with it. Mm-hmm. Well, there's still the meal that you paid for last time you were here in front of you. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, well, I'm going to add it to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me another constitution saving throw. And though I think Josh and Emma are a bit quiet in the background again. Okay, that's a 12. Hi. So compared to Ross, you are a lot quieter. Um, okay. Well, it's interesting because... There we go. Yeah, that's about the same volume. About the same? Yeah, about the same as Ross, yeah. Okay. And so, Ross, what was your saving throw? Uh, I was 12. Okay, uh, everything seems to... Um, uh, I zoom out on you as if you've just jumped through hyperspace. Uh, okay. And you uh, can see what appears to be uh, hundreds of different um, paths before you. Probably not what I was after, but this is even weirder. And you can see yourself dying on many of them. Okay. That is not what I wanted. Give me an insight roll. That was an insight. An insight roll, yeah. That's an 18. Okay. Um, In uh, one of those um, uh, possible futures, you see um, a mountain range and what appears to be a crashed starship. So did you say there's a crushed starship where? In a mountain range. Is that what, um, what, uh... Yodri sees in one of his possible futures, yes. Oh, wow. 
Um, That's amazing. We had the same range that I wanted to go to last time, but everybody else said, no, 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 we need to go this way. That doesn't, uh, you don't think it's the same range? And you also uh, uh, have visions of um, pilfering um, opening doors. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Trying to work out. Uh, I've got navigation. I'm I think trying to work out where. Trying to work out where that range is. And while you're working that out, everything gets all warm and gooey as you end up face first in your food. Uh, I, okay. I, I so is somebody going to save me from drowning? I lift the halfling's face out of his food. And he, he's got this really interesting smile on his face. Put him to one side where hopefully he'll sleep it off. Mm. Okay, cool. And I'm, I'm sure Yodri has one of the best uh, sleeps he's had in a long time. Okay, that's good. Isn't this first thing in the morning? No, this was um, after you arrived here in, in the evening. Okay, alright. As you see, it starts to go dark outside. Okay, awesome. Um, before I go to bed again, uh, unlike last time, I am going to, to uh, walk on my god mm -hmm. and ask her please please make me feel normal <laughs> do, do, do you specify what normal is for you no she doesn't uh, but she says she wants to feel normal so I got can really help with that no well I, I don't want to feel like a, a like the fire person I would I would very much like to feel the earth again okay so as you uh, pray to the earth goddess. Give me a religion roll to see how well you pray. So would I be right? I'm just trying to place things. Um, insane. Is this after or before we've returned to the crushing wave? This was after you went to the crushing wave. Okay. And after the thing went into Drazzle's thing, but before we went anywhere else? It's just before you headed all the way up to Ruin. Yeah. Ruin. It's just my notes are just such a big mess mm -hmm. that it's hard for me to decipher what point we're at. Imagine keeping track of all the time travel. Oh, I'm, this is the reason why I'm not a GM. So what did um, Zal's religion role end up with? Assuming we still have a Zal there. Okay, can you guys hear us again? Hello? I don't think we've even got Ross. Uh, he's still got me. Okay, cool, cool. Do we have an M and a Josh still there? something happened on that end because uh, we just had a dro Josh drop out. Do we still have an M there? Well, I guess they've gone off to pray and we'll have to find out when they get yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully that's that's happening. Um, so... Uh, can you hear us now? I can hear yeah. you now, yes. Sorry, I was like... Uh, Always with um, timing. And then my iPad decided that uh, it wouldn't just connect from the Wi-Fi and it would continue to try and connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, so I had to turn Wi-Fi off on my iPad before it would decide to stay off on 5G. Um, um, because last I time I asked you what your religion role was and then it died. 
Yeah. yeah uh, oh, the gods intervene. The, God, the gods intervene. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't even get to you saying. I heard you say roll up, and then it cut out. <laughs> and I was like, hey, presume a religion roll, and then I went that way. Um, <laughs> So, what was your role? My role... My role is... Uh, in... 19? Okay, so... You find yourself sitting in the... Um, Yamuta's Yimu um, yurt... Uh, waiting for Yamuta to show up. Mm-hmm. And uh, then you realize she, she'd been there the whole time, just that you had not really uh, noticed. Unless, of course, um, she changed your perception so you didn't notice. Hard to tell when dealing with um, the great spirits. I, I will just pretend that I was patiently waiting and greet my god um, and say... It has had a very interesting 14 days that haven't existed now. So, child, what is your uh, great need that you have called on the spirits for? Uh, what was the name of um, the, 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 the god? Krisha. Krisha. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a interesting interaction with my aunt and the god Krisha um, and they have feel like they have changed a very important part of my soul and it just feels all sorts of wrong not quite the right word but feel wrong and uh, I was hoping uh, in your good, good grace that I would be able to have whatever she's done reversed. Well, child, have you learnt the lesson that Krisha gave you? I can Don't talk to my aunt without knowing who she is. I was going to say, I, I almost just see you doing Emperor's New Groove, sort of the llama throwing themselves down and going, Yes, I'm the person! You're having a full mug on, though. No, I have full mug on, though. Sorry, <laughs> just in that moment it just came to me. <laughs> no, that would be very funny. <laughs> uh, seriousness no. is appropriate. It, it, can I make an insight roll into okay. what possible lesson Krisha is trying to teach me by changing my um, nature? You mean insight roll? Should I do elevator music? Do elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, another 19. Okay, so. Krisha, known as being a trickster god, generally plays tricks to make people think. And uh, Zal has probably uh, needed a change for a while now. And it's probably related to how Zal had been acting and reacting to things. Mm -hmm. As in by not following what he really wanted to do and just being swept along? Quite possibly. Um, is, that, uh, is that the lesson that um, Zal believes was um, given? I mean, given given that I now have an opportunity to speak up a bit more for myself and, and actually try and 
through what we set out to do, then yes, that's what Saul will have caught from um, the last 14 days of absolute mayhem <laughs> that we now have an opportunity to not do. Okay, so Yamuda does say to you, we shall see if you've learnt the lesson then, as you uh, find yourself uh, kneeling uh, by the bed, still in uh, the fiery form. Still in my fire? Oh god, okay. You, you think you've just been given a challenge? A challenge? <laughs> Would that be a religion roll or a inside? Uh, you don't really need to make a roll at this. Your god basically said, "Let's see if you've actually learnt the lesson." So right. if you've learnt the lesson, you might get what you want. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe it's the lesson, if I believe that's the lesson. And you've just faded off again. Did your cable come unplugged? My cable come unplugged. I can hear you again. So yes, uh, it, it is morning before any of you notice. Especially Yodri, who was quite happily staring um, at nothing. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Back of his eyelids didn't really have anything written on them, so he didn't really notice anything for the rest of that night. He wakes up more refreshed than he has in a long time. Okay, I, I need to ask, find out uh, where those mushrooms come from. Those blue mushrooms on occasion. But I don't need <laughs> any right now. No, it's just a mental note. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll go and wait, uh, wake up everybody else. Since I'm in that happy mood. They should be in a happy mood as well. Okay, so, uh, you managed to wake up um, Zal, and uh, Drizzle's already awake, and um, uh, Cheval and Thalva uh, were sleeping in the other temple. Um, Basically, the... Um, the, the Temple of Frey doesn't accept uh, women, the Temple of Freya doesn't accept um, men, and they, yeah. do ha they do have a temple for the undecided. Uh, um, yeah, well, I remember what happened when a certain male decided to try to do a practical joke, and then uh, the practical joke was done on him, or her, I should say. You remember that, but you also um, notice that um, all Merv stuff is gone. I don't want to think about it. It's giving me it's start, my headache is starting to return. And you think um Croy is also I'm um, headed off with him. Okay. Okay. I am going to get some breakfast. Okay, so uh going downstairs there is a smell of uh bacon. Okay, cool. As they seem to be uh, preparing for a celebration. Uh, I think I asked what this celebration was last time, but I'll probably have to ask again in the form of my maker all in a rumble. Mm -hmm. uh, did they want some honey with the, um, the ham in that? They're quite happy to have honey with the ham. Okay, well, I'll get out the um, that decanter thing because mm -hmm. fourteen you. days I haven't handed it over. Martin, can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay, I don't know why you can hear me before. Uh, I just said uh, I think I asked what this festival was last time we were here, fourteen days ago. Um, but I'll probably ask again, or, or try and remember. So from the Ethengarian side, it is known as the Day of Blessings. Ah. 
It's a holy day of Yamuga. <laughs> um, one that I should probably celebrate this time. Possibly. Hey, you, you, you did that could be the time. reason why you need to have your le uh, lesson learned. Because I don't yeah. think you did anything last time. No, I, I think we all got swapped away. Um, I am going to ask if I can join in helping um, them set up for this holy day. They're more than happy to help you. It is the uh, third green moon of the year. Third green moon of the year? Yep. Uh, third month of spring. The sp in the ah. month of spring, the moon is of a green color. Uh. And uh, hence, so it's the day of Yamuga because nature and green? Question yep, mark. That is correct. There we go. Uh, cool. I will uh, begin to help out however I can. Okay, so you you start helping in preparation and uh, the festivities that they are having. Their traditions here are a little bit stranger than yours, um, and they're not sacrificing a horse. So. <laughs> Uh, I will take it as a, a, a learning experience, either way. Well, considering you're the only one here for a white horse, as far as you can tell. I really would hope that they do not sacrifice my horse. I think my horse would have something to say about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to look for an empty barrel. You do find uh, an empty barrel. Okay. Uh, it has um, uh, the five shire stamp on the side of it, and it is a cheese barrel. Cheese, cheese. Mm. Okay. Uh, um, take a big whiff so I can actually um, get uh, some. Basically, try to remember the uh, the, the five shires again. Uh, um, Shouldn't do too much of an issue with the honey. Okay, wheel the barrel back to uh, where they're cooking. Well, it's quite easy to pick up and carry. Yeah. And uh, then empty the, um, that was it, whatever that bloody decanter thing that I've got. It's actually got choice of honey, alcohol, or whatever. Alcohol. So I'm going to use that to um, fill the barrel up. So I remember it's what, what it uses up a, a barrel a day, isn't it? Uh, it is a quantity based on the type of uh, food you add into it. Yeah, it's the uh, uh, honey. Yes, but uh, the alchemy jug um, is different depending on what you add. I can actually have look it up quickly for you if you'd like. Okay, yep. Also depending on how fast my own internet is. I had that actual. I thought I had it in here. No, yeah, I do have it in there. One of many to transfer across. So, you can do one gallon of honey. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, one gallon. Uh, uh, is this big enough? Or not big enough? I'm not sure, honestly not sure how much one gallon of honey looks like. It's up to one gallon of honey. You can do oh. as little or as much. Oh, okay. Honey. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll just fill the barrel up. Mm -hmm. Or put as much as I can in the barrel. I'm not going to overfill it. And your ceramic jug can hold a gallon of liquid. Yeah. That, unfortunately, the uh, can't really drink the alcohol. So you can do uh, 12 gallons of salt water in one thing, so you can basically pour out the contents of it 12 times uh, if you do salt water. Yeah, I don't really want to do salt water yet. I might do salt water if there's a bath around, and so I'll just bring back some memories of being in the sea. Mm -hmm. But that's at a later stage. Well, you are on the coast, and there are boats. Yeah, yeah well, I don't need to. I'll do, well, I could do that when I'm inland again, which I expect it to be. Maybe okay. one of the yeah, well, nuggets. So I'll give them the honey to add to the meal. So seeing it's a, uh, the nature day, so it'll probably be a suitable uh, offering. They're very appreciative. 
and they have lots of uh, celebrations going on throughout the day. I'm just gonna make some milk for me. With the um, uh, morning uh, meal being the uh, most important meal of the day, as the uh, uh, midday is normally a um, uh, energy time. Uh, the evening is generally more the uh, um, watery uh, time sphere. They each have their different um, points where they go. And now for second breakfast. Mm -hmm. So yes, you, you end up um, watching Zal perform lots of uh, blessings and rites and learning um, how the Temple of Frey and Freya um, uh, celebrate nature in all its forms. Yes. Uh, okay, so we've got some streakers running around as well, do we? Quite possibly, depending on how much of the um, um, mushrooms um, Yodri ended up with uh, um, this morning. Yeah. <sighs> right, that just reminds me of uh, Vox Machina with the bloody name. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> you um, spend some time uh, uh, doing this. What is um, Cheval doing in all this celebration of the Earth Mother Day? So attempt to help out where possible, like if people have torches or anything, or just like praying blood for people if they feel cold or whatever. Oh my god, he's being a heater and not complaining about it. <laughs> I choose to be the heater. Bending <laughs> <laughs> fire. Be the fire. So yes, uh, you end up having a, a very relaxed day with... Um, People laughing and dancing and celebrating life. Which has been unusual for you considering how many uh, bad things have happened of late. Yes, but those, those bad things have mostly now not happened, so that's good. And uh, you end up uh, resting by the fire later that evening, having spent an entire day in celebration. Considering you also have with you a Druid of Nature as well. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we have now made lots of stories for the Druid. I believe the uh, Druid has enjoyed getting many new stories for her tree. Absolutely. Yeah. And collecting these, she's probably sent off mail to all her pet friends. Um, including one to Cow Pricks remarking on the Queen of Darkness's concerns about the uh, one of the gods of corruption. And uh, you, you do um, notice that uh, Thala has received some letters that the date just looks wrong on. I'll give see if any of you actually um, notice. Give me a uh, investigation role for your characters. Uh, okay, um, I'll just use my halfling luck because I rolled a one, and then I rolled a natural twenty. Okay, uh, your dream notices that the uh, dates are wrong on her letters. Yeah, there, there's no way she could be receiving um, uh, mail from uh, three years into the future. Not her. I would make the investigation roll, but I easy. My phone just died and <laughs> I still don't have my main internet, so you can like choose it. Yeah. So <laughs> in that letter I'll well, I find a, a, a power pack. <laughs> All good. Obliquely I'll talk to Calpix about Drazzle, haven't I say that once? So mm -hmm. she's kind of aware. 
We're trying again. So I've got that is receiving my three years in the future. What? Uh, um, it's my letters to Carprex. You're so, in the Carprex, don't you? Yeah, 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 but it's... Uh, I think this time shifting thing in EV has got me a little screwed up. Isn't that like three years in the future or past or whatever? I don't think about the date so much as think about talking to my friend. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not going to think about it anymore because I think I'm starting to get in my brain. And in the um, letter, there's a discussion with someone by the name of Herman. Herman. Herman's. Uh, uh, do you do you remember when we were in Yalaran and um, Cam Do jumped down to take on the avatar of the Queen of Darkness? Oh, yeah, 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 the, the one, yeah, basically taking on an avatar of a god, yeah. Yeah, and then Carl Cricks went down there and offered the avatar coffee, that, that, that avatar, his name's Herman, and, um, we're all pen oh, now. Oh, so that's his name, um, yeah, remember, I was scared shitless, and I yeah, said, no, yeah, no, I'm not going to win either, we shouldn't even interfere with that. Well, to be honest, we actually found out that Herman was very lonely and didn't have a lot of friends. So um, that's how we ended up making friends with Herman, and, and now we, we we write to Herman, and um, we also I keep in contact with uh, Cal Cricks, and uh, I also talk to um, a friend of mine, um, a gnome who's an artillerist. Uh, he, his name's um, Duke. Um, so we all kind of swap notes, and uh, you, you'll notice the dates on them are all a little bit all over the place, but we just we just keep track of how each of us is going um, at, at the time that, that we are living. Okay, yep. Uh, I'll just say yes and ignore and try to forget what the hell she was on about. Cal have written yeah. to me about her tea drinking. Um, and I, I don't know, um, it will depend on what the others roll on the investigation, but um, would I be able to give them an update on Calcrix if they're interested? Mm -hmm. um, we'll see what, what Zal and Cheval come up with. Well, I think I'll just have some tea. You might want to be careful about that, because last time Calcrix had tea... Mm. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, I'm not joking. Last time Calcrix had tea, she had it with the Queen of Darkness, so, you know, it was different. She had an Alice in Wonderland moment of everything shrinking around her. That gonna, would be amusing, since I'm the smallest part in the group. Well, I was going to wait to see what Cheval and Zara uh, rolled, so that if I was going to tell it, I just told it once. And uh, what kind of role is it? An investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend's still hot, so I don't need to... You might so. have to revert to, you know, analog and find the dice. Yeah. Oh, no, I put, I put my dice on my desk. I just don't know what my boss score is. Is that on the uh, um, website? No, yeah. It's one of the things I know you're working on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so, um, Chevelle notices that uh, Father's got letters from Calcrix. Ah. Okay, how often can I use the luck? I think it's once a day, isn't it? Well, then you'll find it through your good luck. So you normally want to um, long rest. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. So if you don't long rest, you generally don't get it back. And you only benefit from the effects of a long rest once um, every 24 hours. So, uh, M, just roll and add... Um, uh, I think you're, you're you're fairly intelligent, so you can pretty much add a plus um, four to the roll. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it is four because it's not um. 
not a train school? It's not a train school, which is funny, because I think it should be, but, um, that's a non-natural funny. Okay, you also notice that Thal has uh, got letters from Calcrix. Mm. Though the, do the, the date just looked a bit odd to you, you never got a chance to read it properly. Uh, yeah, she wrote for the pages to the book. So, did you want to tell them about Calcrix? Uh, did they ask? Did they? Did you ask um, Tyler about Calcrix and having seen uh, the pages? Oh, well, because so he was pretty close with with Calcrix was fairly attached mm. to to Zal. Um, so Calcrix is doing well. She's um, just turned uh what age would she be now um young adult yeah but that's uh is that 10 young adult ranges anywhere from um uh five years of age to hundreds of years of age I, depending I think on she's how 10. much experience she gets yeah i think she's about 10 i think last she was nine so this would make sense for her just changing into an, an, a young adult so um anyway i'll say she's just had a birthday and um Part of her, her celebrations was, um, uh, it's a really amusing story here, she was having uh, coffee with the Queen of Darkness and they had the whole coffee tea set thing out and she said uh, as she's drinking and, and chatting to Herman, who's the avatar of the Queen of Darkness that almost killed you, Cheval and Kandu, um, uh, that Calcrix became friends with um, as a part of that encounter. Um, she started noticing that everything started getting smaller, but what was actually happening was she was growing. She's now a large dragon. Oh. So she's come of age. She's an adult now. She says she's got to try and be more serious, but she can't help giving out cookies anyway. <laughs> I would love to see this large dragon trying to give out cookies. That would make my day. Um, does Drazzle show them a picture of Calcrix? Um, yes, he does have a picture in his book of Calcrix. Uh, you see a white and black dragon. She's got a lot more black than you ever remember her having. Wow. Mm. Well, I presume that has something to do with her association with the Queen of Darkness. Um, indeed. I will... Um... No, uh, actually, you'll probably see a tear come to, to Zal's eyes, just because he misses his little dragon best friend. Dragon friend. Yeah. Uh, Not so has she anymore. actually worked out how to polymorph yet? Um, indeed. She, she does. She just chooses. She's like, why would you be anything but a dragon if you could be a dragon? She, she doesn't understand why you'd want to be anything else. Uh, a smaller dragon that gets to squeeze through uh, smaller doors? Yes, well, there, there is that. She she does know how to do that. They're in the picture. Um, I'll see. Give each of you an insight roll as you look at the picture. Uh, well, that's a t 21. 21 for Yodri. What was Chevelle's? 15. 16. And what was mm -hmm. Zal's? So what was it? Inside? Inside, yes. Um, uh, not a funny. Okay, so um, having a look at the picture of Calcrix, you do need notice there seems to be a flying tree in the background. A, a, a flying tree? Yep, a flying tree. Or floating. Is that, is that... Is that Calcrix's little plant carnivorous thing? No. Um, I'll look at Drazzle. Does he give me any indication of whether or not I should explain the floating tree? Drazzle shrub. Um, these, that, that is a portent of things to come. When trees might fly, Drazzle says. <laughs> You get a sense that when Thala says it, she says it with such solemn seriousness that it is not even light-hearted Thala's going to joke about this. It is 
dead serious. I will not ask any more questions about that then. Yeah. So, so, so it's hard enough to pick up. Um, but she does say to you, the work we're doing now will impact on on how things go later, so... The, the tree does remind you of the um, elven symbol for Alfheim. Uh, do, I, do I get any memory? Because we were there once, but every time we think about the time we were there, we get, like, stupid... Well, that, that was a different Elven Nation, but you can think about that one if you like. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay, I'm full unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, do we start calling Drazzle... Well, he's already got the name Dr. Azzle in the sense of his book, so we can call him the Doctor. He just needs, like, a, a wagon that's painted blue with, like, white squares on it. No. Well, you could paint his wagon blue. With white squares on it. You could, you could if you want to. Yeah, and, you know, because we like to dress it up, put some sort of light on the top. You know. Great. <laughs> so, um, so, this is going to start becoming a um, Western <laughs> musical because we're painting a wagon. <laughs> I, I was thinking more of a science fiction TV series, yeah. but yeah. But I'm sure the gold rush won't, um, you know, be that bad. Yeah. You won't have to dig underneath the town. Right. So it's morning after the festival. It is. Alrighty. We should possibly. Um. Start heading to the Feather Gale Tower. Um, do we need to replenish um, provisions and things like that? Well, you seem to have more than you remember having. Okay. Um, so, just opening up general discussion with the group, um, since since we, we're meant to head off to Featheringa Tower, how about we start heading in that direction? Uh, yep. Um, might gra gather the mounts, our good old chocobo, and um, oh, I know one of you calls your, your horses water and one of you calls your horses fire and they're opposites. But my brain... Okay. Uh, I've got my... Um, Inferno is my water pony thing. Yeah, Inferno. And um, what's Cheval's mount? Aqua. Aqua, yeah. I, I remembered some of it. Um, so let's get ready for some deja vu, hopefully, but not too much deja vu. Yep, and um, Cheval's horse starts singing Barbie Girl. <laughs> or um, Dr. Jones. I'm sure either one will work just well. Josh does like to break off in song every now and then. Do you know it off by heart? He's got a good voice, actually. What? Barbie Girl or Dr. Jones? Dr. Jones, 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 Dr. Jones,
That was that was his chick mate that he that he murdered brutally. Yes, he was he was well behaved mate. Yes. Well, well, you had the team Chocobo and the wild Chocobo. Which one was going to win? Well, I mean, at that point, it only just hatched, though, and then we left them for like three days. But what one had been well fed and one had been torn together. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. a social experiment on fantasy proportions. It was. <laughs> um, I I will do it and hope that Chocobo realizes it's his friend Thala and that she just wants to play. Okay, so you're going to tag him. Yeah. Because that's his play. Well, I don't know. For right. a few minutes. Right. I'm not planning to do this for hours. It was just going to be a couple of minutes. And then M finds herself surrounded by two chocobos playing tag. As Al's <laughs> as just standing in the uh, uh, stables going, but. <laughs> I only do it for a couple of minutes and then I change back into me. Um, give the chocobo a cookie and let's let's saddle up and head off. Is horse there? Horse is there. Horse gets cookie too. Did you just give my chocobo a cookie? Yes. Uh, yes. I, I feed all the animals cookies. Oh, so is that the hash cookies? I uh, know they're the coffee cookies. Yeah, no. They're not... Th we know that chocobo does not get coffee. Really? The, the GM's just messing with you. It's not coffee for, for chocobo. Coffee cookies. Cool. Um, no, it just gets gets the, the chocolate chip cookies that, um that all the other animals get. Okay, so it's a sugar, sugar high, high, not a psychotic high. high. That's yeah. good to know. Funnily <laughs> enough, kind of like with ADHD, the sugar tends to calm Chocobo down. Well, Chocobo only gets psychotic when he hasn't slept for a week. That too. So you, ha you haven't had him not sleep for a week uh, since you figured out coffee keeps him awake. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and now he's now he's just a um, murder hobo, not psychotic. Uh, we're getting there, okay? We're getting there. Just a, a question out of uh, curiosity, more than anything. Mm -hmm. Does this mean, since we remember the thirteen days that we've gone back now, or the fourteen odd days, does Cheval realise then that her father is out there somewhere? Yep, and her mother. Okay, all right. In the same yeah. town. In the same. Same town. Okay, right. Most likely yeah, missing with the. Oh, that town by the plague. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so uh, you spend the day traveling to the town of Bergen. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you heard that, Bob. Yep. But that was a I co <laughs> snide, snide comment from a paladin. What was the snide comment? He's going to be a comment like she said to me when she killed my dad. It's like, oh, all's fair, but you could have lied. I just respond. I just said to her, I mean, not everyone's as lucky to have their parents back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I'm sure that the uh, response was thought, give it time. Yeah, no. When, 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 when M said we're going to work about the plane, I'm like, I'm going well, we'll be in trouble if we meet my parents, because it means that we're in the middle of the sea. <laughs> um, so, do we, if we leave this morning, yep. do we still think we would make our rendezvous with the people that gave us the directions to the Sky Temple? Possibly. Uh, you reach the town of Bergen at yeah, the end yeah. of the day, and you, you hear talk in the tavern of the town festivals the day before. Yeah. Uh, how they had all these sporting competitions. It's mm. kind of good we spent the day in the other town. What was the other town we just come from? Uh, Norvik. Nor Norvik. Uh, N O R R V I K. Oh, Norvik. There you go. I misspelled it then in my book. That is not unusual for me. Well, it is a Scandinavian style <coughs> word, so. Yeah, which, you know, wouldn't surprise me if there's a few uh, vowels missing, usually. Or extras added. Yeah. Okay, so yes, you find yourself at the uh, town of um, 
Bird, Bergen, and last time you were here, there was a uh, festival, sports festival going. Is it still happening? No, I finished um, up that day. That's good. Um, and so most of the um, inns are empty, as a lot of people have moved on by now. Head to an inn to stay for the night? Rather quiet night, as all, all the things that happened the day before wore out the town. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm good with a quiet... Af after the last 14 days that weren't, I'm good with a quiet night at an inn, just eating food, swapping stories with Drazzle, filling out stuff in my tree, of, my tree book. What do, we, what do we call a Groundhog Day when it's a fortnight? <laughs> Groundhog... Groundhog fortnight? Month? Gra you can have a Groundhog Month. Keep doing the same month <laughs> over and over until you get it right. Yeah, no, look, don't don't wish that on us. Let's just let's just keep it with. Hey, the, the Wednesday night had that in um, storyline, so they actually had to repeat time and time and time again until they got it right. Groundhog rerun. Yeah, <laughs> Groundhog rerun. Where 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 the extra? Yeah. <laughs> Except for them, everything they did happened uh, each time. So if they went down one path and they came and redid the time, they'd see themselves walking down that path. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Unfortunately, we're, we're with the very skilled Drazzle. Actually, I'm thinking about it now. I'm wondering if that was Drazzle anyway. Yeah, that was Drazzle anyway. So <laughs> obviously he's gotten better at casting the spell. Since well, then. you also didn't um, break time. Yeah. yeah. You just rewound it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so a uh, quiet night at the end sounds perfect. Um, if anything, I'll just confirm directions to Featheringale Tower. Well, they heard that there's um, supposedly one just uh, east <laughs> of Linkhead, which is to the south. Yeah. That's a small village. You remember that was a village where you found all the griffins. Okay, yep. So we want to head there. So did you say Lin Lindgate? Uh, L I N G H E D. Lingate. Linghead. Linghead. Sorry. I really need to Is that, my hearing aid. That's where we met before. Uh, um, you, you did. We did. And we met, um, and hopefully we'll meet again. Um, Sir Miroska, who was a senior feather knight in his early 50s, who gave us an invitation to travel uh, up to the tower and, and check out what was going on. Yeah. It's pretty much one of the only things I've written down that I can read because. <laughs> <laughs> My hands were half numb when I was writing it, so it's just scrawl. And then you can just see in amongst all this scratching, it's very clear. Sir Moroska, early 50s, senior feather knight. And then everything else looks like someone scribbled all around it. <laughs> I mean, at least we can read the book. I'm like, the names are the important bits with Martin, so as long as I can read that again. Yes, you generally end up meeting the same person when you remember their name. Yeah. Unless, of course, you go to the ice store. It doesn't help then. No, no, it doesn't help at the ice store. I, I, I do very much need to get my book out and start writing down session notes again because I've been sorely missing... Sort of one, sorely missing doing that. And yeah. two, sorely missing actually being able to go back. And yeah. And Remember the goddess creature who's been driving me into a heap. Well, my uh, my one of my personal goals is to try and and catch up on notes, uh, at least for this year. Because last over Christmas I was going to do it, but every time I did it, my hands just gone into spasm. Well, on a bright side, when I have time, I am actually adding in yeah. previous sessions so you can look up stuff yeah. um, online. Yeah. And if I switch over to that, uh, you can actually see um, I've notes. gone back to session 19 on here, but I have some notes in there to help remember yeah. what was there. Yeah, so so there are notes. Martin's putting kind of cliff notes in there that he's keeping, and that does help. Yeah, that will help. At least definitely. until you can get a journal going again. Yeah, well, it's just I need to go back and, and, and 
rewatch like six months worth of, of the yeah. sessions. Because I think I stopped writing when Bob was born. Yeah. When Bob, when Bob was born, and I just I've been totally missing being able to actually reference yeah. off of that book. Yeah, you know, and you might end but up But there's a lot of stuff in my book, like those of my things, items I've got that yep. my character sheet, you know, because it's also been like the year that I've needed to update that. Mm. Through no fault of any busy people and, and we've been, you know, it's just, it's just getting to the point where I'm like, <laughs> it really needs to happen soon. Because <laughs> yep. it's just, it's, it's now becoming detrimental to actually playing this game and yeah. I'm like, I know I have this bill, I don't have anything written down yeah, about it. Yep. But I want to use it, but I literally, like, this, this, I can't because I have no respect about it. <laughs> Well, I have been doing um, uh, new folios for Ariadna so she can actually find her stuff a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm also here yeah, trying to work on getting all of my stuff into... Because I'm having such trouble with electronic devices, just mm. getting hard copy folio down of all my stuff. Yeah. Uh, but before we detract from mm -hmm. going too much, we're going to hand to Ling... Head. Ling Head. Mm. Ling Head. <laughs> at that time. So, uh, you, you you finally make it to Linghead at the end of the day on the 17th of the month, uh, and it's rather quiet um, here, uh, having um, hearing stories in the local inn about how they had a flight of griffins there the um, day before. Um, I ask where they headed off. Well, they, they all flew east. Damn. <coughs> well, we're just going to have to go up and cold cold, cold call them. <laughs> cold, cold, yeah, Sky Temple. <laughs> yep. I will look on the door and just be like, you don't remember us, but we have actually met in the previous 14 days that haven't actually happened. I'm tempted to just try and bluff it and just use the name, you know, saying I, I met him in my travels and he invited me to come up here and just see whether or not I look vaguely familiar to him enough to... <laughs> to get away, get put in the door. Look, they were pretty welcoming of us, so I have an idea that, that it won't be that hard. But, yeah, we're definitely... Because we spent that extra day, we have to kind of um, speed up. Well, things change uh, when time up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you, you notice that Val is actually looking... Well, even though he looks a little more ready, but... He is actually looking a lot happier than he has in the last 14 days. Mm. And also you don't have that um, uh, person who's lost his uh, memory um, following you around. around yeah. Yeah, I was, I, I, I was, I've got it in my notes and I'm like, if, if I don't mention it, can we pretend it didn't happen? Well, no, because he was, he was at that, that first yeah. ball. That in the town that we we just missed that we arrived a day late so by arriving yeah. a day late we've actually managed not to get ourselves derailed and, and you have a feeling that um, Merv and Croy um, uh, went on ahead of you went to that festival yeah. and may, may, maybe heading off to Raruna yeah yeah so that that might be where our fellow party members disappeared to yeah which at the moment, it's fine by me. <laughs> yeah. Unless, of course, but they kill both um, the, 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 the parents. Next time Val sees Corey, he's going to have a nice little sit down with him and just be like, next time you want to stab someone in the eye and take their body, mm. just give us a heads up so we can stop you. <laughs> <laughs> um, then he's going to ask, how do you know? <laughs> Unless, of course, he shows up in um, Cheval's father's form. <laughs> yeah, because if he goes ahead... Um, then, then we're going to have a serious talk. <laughs> Not just a sit down, we're going to have a serious talk. Travel, <laughs> I am your father. Um, <laughs> no! <laughs> Not enough anguish in that, I admit, but at least it was a good long no. It was. Okay, so yes, uh, getting yourself, um, uh, rest, you rest well, uh, our halfling hasn't felt this well rested in a long time. Whatever he had in those uh, mushrooms really seemed to help. Yeah. So 
So is um, Drazel still with us? He is still with you. Um, ask him where he got those mushrooms from. Yesterday, he said. <laughs> That's a very classical answer. I asked Drazel if um, he's concerned at all about us being a little bit behind and missing the um, Griffin, Griffin Riders. Drazel said you went backwards. Fair point. Q hand Drazel cookie. Drazzle munches happily. He even tells you Drazzle munches happily. Mm. Fala munches happily too. Does Chocobo munch happily? Chocobo was waiting for his. Oh. We he always feed Chocobo before we feed ourselves. Well, he's very polite around horse. <laughs> he is. Oh, that's right. We're traveling with horse in the moment. Yeah. There he is. So where are we heading to next? So, uh, you start heading off into... Uh, 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 hills in the middle of the Hallmark region. Hallmark. Okay. Yep. Well, we're basically heading off to the temple that we got told about 14 days ago. 12, 12 days ago. Well, you actually got told about a month ago, um, and then you went to the other side of this region, went to the uh, village of Heidel, saw the gnome, decided to head back to Norvik when you heard that it was easier to come in from Ling Linghead. While at Norvik, decided you weren't going to go to the temple after all because it was too difficult. Uh, ran into the Feathergale Knights and went, oh, we'll come back and do that because this uh, no beer thing seems more interesting. Uh, and that's how you ended up on the no beer story. Yeah. I'm um, happily heading into mm -hmm. Hallmark Hills. Yep, the Hallmark Hills. Is there like a gift shop there with cards? Uh, no, but they tell strange stories. Fair enough. And everyone always seems to have a fantastic romance. And they have a charge for it, just need to the storage. Fair enough. Okay, so, uh, as you um, head through the mountain range, uh, the hill ranges there, they actually have a description here. You see Feathergale Spire rising from a pillar of rock high into the air, the tallest point for miles around, built from white limestone, and embellished in marble, the spire resembles a gleaming sword that pierces the sky. A gatehouse faces the opposite cliff, its drawbridge the only apparent point of entry. Tall wide windows encompass the bottom level of the tower, absent only upon the gatehouse side. A circle of open stalls ring the tower's foundation where it meets the rock. Above each stall, the sculpture of a hippogriff in flight leaping from the tower's base. I pause to sketch. Beneath Fergal's spire to the east, a wide gusty canyon yawns through the hills. And you can see the road leading um, up to the main entrance. The drawbridge is currently up. It looks to, looks to be about 400 feet from the base to the spire. So not a small tower. Sounds like a rather big one. What do you do? Um, so you said there's a uh, drawbridge? Yes, which is currently up. Is there any way to communicate or like is there a bell or a gong or something to say hi, we, we'd like Maybe to see shell out. entrance. Well, in that case... Um, you have a voice. Yeah, but I didn't know how long this drawbridge is. So that's why I'm asking. Um, is, it, is it yelling distance? It looks to be a yelling distance. Um, does anyone want to take the lead on yelling, or...? Probably the Paladin. Yeah, the Paladin oh. is probably oh. the best. Not the Flush Buckler? Uh, being used to yelling between ships? Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Anyone on the watch? Uh, you see uh, quite a few heads um, pop up over the ramparts. Uh, most of them being uh, Griffin heads. So apparently you've been given the bird. Great. As you see, um, 
Uh, Griffin's starting to take flight. Yeah, I don't know. Start speaking in French. You <laughs> 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 Sure, 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 sure. So you activate you, you activated your uh, animal um, uh, communication. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you hear a um, halfling, 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 halfling. Uh, all different uh, versions of halfling being said by the griffins around you as they're circling. I thought you. griffins were supposed to be intelligent. These got a brain of a seagull. Well, they, they know what you are. Yeah. And they seem to be circling you. Hail, angels of the sky. I wish to speak to your masters. Okay. Uh, one of them lands right behind uh, uh, Yodri and attempts to pick him up in its beak. <laughs> um, at this point, um, I will. Okay. To I, 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 what I'll do is I'll dodge to the side, and basically, if you're coming down to bite me, I'm going to see if I can get onto the back of its, of its neck. Okay, but Thala was going to intervene as well while you're doing so, and I believe um, Zal was busy laughing. Yes, yeah, Zal was. Um, Zal. Oh, probably he's Yodri chirping in bird and also decides to can't speak with animal just so he can enjoy himself a little bit more. And then you also hear the halfling. Halfling, halfling. halfling. I think halfling. Um, I've got a split with animal. This, this makes me think of uh, Chocobo and, and his <clears throat> feather branchness. What's up, Gobby's in my <laughs> and, 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 you, and basically, uh, as you say that, you see Chocobo toward, turn towards you and go, Coffee? <laughs> towards who? Uh, to help. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, no, no coffee, but you can have Biscuit. Coffee? I pull Biscuit out and hand it to Zal at the same time, seeing if I can attract the the griffin who's trying to mm-hmm. bite your dream. Yep. In his, pick him up in his mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, does does an extra biscuit catch its attention? Uh, do you say a biscuit? Um, sure. Okay. I'm hoping I don't lose my hand. Okay, it starts doing a happy dance. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite notice that it was next to Yodri at the time. Okay, how does Yodri fare? So, uh, Yodri, please... Uh, uh, I think you end up taking uh, a whole uh, three points of piercing damage as it stands on your foot. Uh, um, I try to... <laughs> with with the uh, cat's claw going into your leg. I tr- try to direct the griffin away from your dream mm-hmm. and then um, get it to... Um, sorry, sorry, I mean uh, uh, hawk like claw going into your leg. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hawk, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we would all like to to talk to one of your masters. Can one of your masters come to us, please? You get biscuit. Okay. <laughs> you wait there. <laughs> Give biscuit. It, it takes the biscuit and then flies off. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I open the bag of holding and yelling it. Okay. <laughs> I, I is that because you, you, yeah, Yodri's just been st- stepped on? Yeah, he's been stepped on, and technically, mm. I stopped him from possibly getting on the Griffin and possibly getting a, himself a ride in. Well, the fact um, that I couldn't really get onto his deck due to the fact that he's got his claw in my foot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That 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 probably wouldn't have helped either. Um, do you need and to cure? Your, your no, 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 no. It, it's it, it's fine. I'll Drizzle uh, hand you some salt to help you cure your foot. Mm-hmm. Oh, make cure wounds, but yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Drizzle's trying to be funny. Humans, the, the bloody dwarves, do and any, our griffins. Do any uh, their faces? In the last twenty-four hours, I've this. had so much pain. Okay, so I need some more mushrooms. <laughs> I suspect Drizzle might be dealing with an addict here, but I'm going to leave that between 
Drazzle. So uh, after the uh, griffin disappears behind the walls, you hear the sound of uh, mechanisms as the drawbridge starts to lower. Nice. Alrighty. With that clunk, 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 clunk. Awesome. Alright. Uh, but you know, the animals are still, is the griffin who landed behind Audrey still there? Uh, no, he, it flew off because it was uh, asked there, you know, get the, get its master. Yeah. Uh, I, I gave it a biscuit and asked for it to get a person. Oh, uh, okay. Rather than to grab all of us in their beaks and fly us over. Yeah, fair enough. Um, are there any other, um, griffins landed or are they all still circling? Lovers. Well, the others are still circling. Okay. Um, I say to the other ones, um, you can um, uh, come land if you like. Does does Bella have enough cookies for all of them? Okay, um, I am avoiding the griffins. Theoretically, <laughs> yes, but um, unless you you throw me under the cart so to speak I, I would would possibly want to wait for a more orderly situation to give out biscuits to the griffins rather than have them all land in one small spot for biscuits uh, <laughs> yes. single fly yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'd rather go like visit them in their stables and give them more biscuits there where there's Less chance of more piercing damage, um, <laughs> and and um, yeah, yeah. So so let's let's if you're happy I'll with go, that, okay, I'll move under the bus. I'll just I'll just tell them, you know, we appreciate the escort, but but um, we we probably don't need to have to do it. Okay, so uh, as you're calling up to the men, and you know, sort of. At stutteringly explaining these things, all, all the griffins seem to come down, and uh, their tone changes from halfling to halfling play, halfling play. Um, what is your dream? Your dream was trying to hide behind people. Okay, um, I will let your dream hide behind me at this stage. Does anyone emerge from the? Uh, You're still hearing the drawbridge going. Okay. Plunk, 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 plunk. Um. Up. The, the whole thing don't play, but I'm pretty sure Trocobo would love to get chased. Because <laughs> I pointed my eye speak and throw him under the boss. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether or not he can fly, but that could be interesting. No, but he can run away. I, I sense already, without <laughs> looking, Drazzle pulling out his book, ready you, to draw. You just couldn't even catch me if you wanted. <laughs> And then Chocobo probably fucks off with that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ch Chocobo looks at you and goes, Clay? Clay? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he play, gets, he gets play, more play, higher pitch in his play. Play, play nicely with the griffins and you'll get a biscuit later. Uh, okay. As you see him run right into a griffin um, head first. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I have an idea they can probably take it. They can. Probably. So what one's uh, very uh, is it the griffins being crossed between hawk and cat really can you know pretty much do the whole uh, cat rake thing stuff. So you see uh, balls of uh, griffin and yeah, uh, uh, axe people beak. having trouble visualizing. They do. People being me. Oh, oh, and oh yeah. Okay, so it's the lion, hawk, eagle uh, cross mm -hmm. rather than the. Hippogriff, which is the horse. Yep. Can you bring the photo up on the big screen, Mark? And I just have to do the, you know, equivalent um search. <laughs> okay. But, but. And I'll drop it into the uh, Discord for you guys. Nice. You see that in there now in the chat? Yeah, we just went out because I don't have to store them. Yeah. Oh, no, Aussie's on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Here. I don't see you. That one probably keeps reconnecting to the, reconnecting to the internet. 
Okay. That also almost be easier for you to shove a camera at the image on the screen. No, 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 it's okay. We got it. We got it now. I just got cute. For some reason, my phone is just like, no, your internet is clearly available. <laughs> look, look. Yes, it's just not as available as you'd like it to be available. Yeah, pretty much. So my phone just keeps trying to reconnect. Well, the, the thing is, it will still connect to the router because the router's on. No, I know. The router doesn't reset. No, I know. Yeah, it's because we, we have a modem and a router. Which is. So it's still what comes in, but there's no internet, which is why it keeps trying to reconnect. Which is why I have to, like, hard, hard to. Yeah, I understand that because um, that way you can uh, have different um, networks running as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, yes, you see the, uh, the the Griffins and the uh, and the Chocobo playing as the door finally comes down, and out comes a uh, guy dressed up uh, who you remember seeing before mm -hmm. um, in leathers and. Um, Is he our fifty-ish? Um Sir Morosco? Maros Seems to be that la but last time you saw him he was in more heavy armor. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> but he's, he's dressed down because he's in his home essentially. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. When you're out and about you wear your um, body armor in case you fall off your griffin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, taking corners a bit too fast you might just um, slide on off if you're not careful. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm sure I can appreciate that one, being on a relatively fast land animal mm. all the time. I, I'm pretty sure I've got like extra straps on Chocobo's um, saddle for that reason. Mm. You'd need them. Except for when oh. he chews through them on you. Yeah. Um, Except for when he chews through them. Yeah, well, there, there, there's often running repairs going, it's not a surprise. <laughs> yeah, you just need to get the mend spell. I, I, I have I it, but I like doing. I, I, I like using my hands for things because you know nature. And yeah. plus, and, and plus, I mean, requires I, you to I, have I, most I, of the I, item there, not parts of it missing. Uh, well, technically, if you consider that some of those parts are in the di digestive tract of the axe beak, technically, yeah, you just need you yeah, just need the yeah. poo as well. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I really, I really not gonna go through his poo. I'm no. pretty sure he got that poo. Or he doesn't so far away, I don't know where it is. Yeah, it doesn't so far away, I don't know where it is. This, this is not um, necessarily a bad thing. So, yeah, sure. um... The, the, fact, the fact that I'm actually trained in leather work and, and, and like making things as a character, mm. um, it, it's actually a, 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 a downtime thing I do, is fixing my saddles. So not only Chocobo, but, but for Artemis as well. And so yes, he, he comes out and greets you. It seems he, uh, he uh, uh, has come by himself. Yep. Um, I will uh, give him a little bow of respect. And um, I don't know. Did uh, we decide that the paladin wanted to do the talking? Or or your dream because or your dream. dream. Yep. Hello. Uh. Yep. Well, no, I was just getting their attention, which I did. Well, you got and your now, attention, and now you can talk. <laughs> uh, no, I've got a foot to mend at the moment. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Um, so I will, will help you with that one. Yeah. While you talk. <laughs> while they talk? While you talk, uh, so I will help mend your foot. While, they, while everyone's trying to figure out who's going to talk and no one's talking, I'll... Uh, greet him. Um, I don't want to make a bad impression. Um, we've called them all the way out. Um, <laughs> I don't want there to be a, no, you talk to him. No, 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 no. Um, so um, um, I'll, I'll greet him and introduce us as um, uh, questions. Yeah, travellers. Travellers. And uh, Explain that that we're um, heard a lot about about the Fetheringale Spire, and um, we were uh, hoping to learn more about um, them as a people, and whether or not they welcome visitors or not. We'd, we'd be keen to to 
to come and learn a little bit about them and what they do. We feel that a lot of the older traditions are disappearing and um, I explain about you know my role for my tree of life and how a part of maintaining traditions and, and knowledge of other parts of the world is one of my sacred duties to the tree and yes well welcome 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 to feather gal spire he says um i'm sure your uh animals though lacking in flight will enjoy their uh, stay in our stables yes they they would very much appreciate that um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure the trevor is already enjoying that sentimentity uh, yes, yes. around in the background. Uh, <laughs> looking off to the side, you see one of the griffins flying off with Chocobo by its foot. He's <laughs> um, teaching him flight. That's yep. hilarious. Yeah, but do you remember how they actually kill their prey? They, they fly them up to a, high, a fairly high level and let them go and let gravity finish them off? Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure Chocobo is going to be I, I just look at him like, I know he's probably not going to drop him, but can you not kill my bird? That would be great. I would like to have him live. <laughs> Fairly sure the Feather Knight would have stopped them. Uh, he, he whistles out to the griffin and the griffin circles back. Thank uh, you kindly. Uh, you can see Chocobo flapping his um, wings greatly with uh, no real effort, but he, he, <laughs> he looks as if he's flying. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of like that Titanic moment. Except you've got a griffin holding a chocobo and the chocobo is pretending to fly. Yeah. Oh, God. And I'm sure in yeah. the background you can hear the tune to I Believe I Can Fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just got to believe. And as he gets closer, considering you still have your Speak With Animals up, you can hear Chocobo going, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. I have a feeling Chocobo is not pretending to fly. Chocobo really thinks he can fly. Uh, that's not sort a of good idea because I can think of seeing jumping off a cliff saying, I can fly! Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's, well, he's jumped off cliffs before, so it, that's not going to be detrimental to his health. Hmm. Hopefully, he has enough self preservation and not throw himself off too tall a cliff. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll gratefully enter. Yep, you gratefully enter um, with a uh, uh, grounded chocobo. Yep. Um, and he's still probably going to flap his wings for the next like five years. Quite possibly, I'm, yes. I hear the end of this. <laughs> that, that's fine, I'm happy with that. Makes me happy to see him happy. Uh, he's doing stunted jazz wings. <laughs> <laughs> A tribute to, tribute uh, to Calcrix. Don't even know if he'd remember Calcrix. I'm sure he would. Well, Calcrix used to play with him a lot. Yeah. They were both young together. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Um, uh, you, you find yourself in the uh, stables. They uh, uh, seem to be caring, able to care for your animals quite well. Yes. I will set Artemis up in a, in a stall if we go give him a stall. You can give him a stall. <laughs> um, there are ones telling me he can fly too. Yeah. Can you fly? Yes, you can. There you go. And so, once you're inside and relaxing, you can see that there is uh, a feast uh, underway. Uh, they're looking at. Uh, they're saying they're commemorating the tenth year of their their societies on the shore here. So they've only been here for ten years. Only ten years. Wow, that's that's it's an amazing achievement. But what made you decide to come here? Uh, they didn't want to be living weapons. Understandable. Very reasonable desire. So this um, fort that's only 10 years old. Yep. That's why it probably still looks shiny. Because there's a question I had the word shiny in it. I compliment on the artistry of their, their building and, and the fact that they've accomplished quite 
you know, like like Zell was saying, you know, it's 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 a really big, impressive tower. Well, they've been scouting a location to move it to for quite a while. Oh, okay. So you moved the tower from from where you came from. Well, we didn't want to leave it behind. How did you manage that? Magic. Fair enough. Solves most problems. Yeah. No, it would, but it, it seems like um, you must have been quite a collective desire for all of you to put that kind of effort and um, heavy work, for lack of a better word, like even using magic, moving a, a towel like this um, over a certain amount of distance would would still take a lot of commitment. So. Well, it took them uh, quite a few years to finish the ritual. Yeah, yeah. They had always been wanting to strike, strike out on their own and get a bastion on the mainland away from the island of Alphatia. Okay, so they come from Alphatia? Yes, they do. Yeah. And were they purely seen as, as fighters there? Uh, they, they were normally sent on in sent on first in battle oh, wow. to uh, yeah. be their shock troops. I have, um, I have a friend who's worked with uh, wild griffins um, in war and uh, I have to say I'm very grateful that they certainly appreciated the griffins uh, making their own independent decisions about whether or not they would participate and how. Um, well, we, we did have a couple of uh, hippogriffs, but... Oh, were they hippogriffs there? Uh, they were saying we need to have a couple of hippogriffs, but they weren't as amenable. Um, they, they didn't like the change in, in uh, terrain? They really liked the uh, grasslands from where we came from. Yeah. Um, I guess if you're a hippogriff, you do want to run just as much as you want to fly. Well, they also still eat the grass as well. Mm. That, that's also fair. Grass is not always greener. So was it all of you that came from Alphatia or is it just a small portion of you that wanted to make this sea change for lack of a better word? Well, uh, we had some of us go and then the rest decided to up and leave when uh, there was talk of war by the Goddess of Peace. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've heard a little bit about that. Um, that is a fairly uh, serious... Uh, that, that would make me think seriously about about where I was living and what I wanted to do with my life too. Well, so. when the Goddess of Peace decides to go to war, you generally end up with genocide of both sides. Yeah, it, it, it's... Um, I can't say too much because I know from Cal Crix's letters exactly what he's talking about. Um, but I'm like Drazzle, I don't want to... I don't want to sully things so I'll just make murmuring sounds of you know I, I agree as to why they wanted to to make that change in location well they, they wanted to get away from um, the requirement to uh, wipe out people just because a goddess tells them to do you follow a different um, god now well, we never really followed that goddess, we just mm -hmm. did what we were told, because hey, uh, if you don't do what you're told over there, you end up getting uh, uh, reprogrammed, is probably the best way to say it. So you wanted autonomy Condition. over your own lives. Tired of being used for warfare. Yeah, mm -hmm. I absolutely get that too. Fortunately, sometimes war is something you can't escape, well, but that doesn't mean you can make choices about how you choose fight and who you choose to fight for the and what you choose to fight for. The Feather Gale Knights were the uh, forefront of their um, combat strategy because uh, we combine uh, uh, both the element of air and darkness. So yeah. combat, uh, basically very strong combat air. I'm wondering if Cheval or Zal have questions or Yodri? Mm -hmm. 
more happy to just observe. Uh, Part of our role from Red Dream is to find out as much as we can about these new cults or religions, for lack of a better word. Um, why they I, I know. You have more as a, more of a reason to honestly point questions early on. Whereas the rest of us, the rest of us are making trying to make stories for a tree. So it, make, it makes more sense that you're asking these like questions about how well, they've moved here, what they're doing, why they've moved here. Whereas all is just going to... Well, you, it doesn't mean that you guys won't have genuine curiosity. Um, I, and I don't want to... Uh, I, have, I have genuine curiosity, but like, like what I did with the water temple, I will sit and help yeah. uh, a place for a few days before I start. To basically, basically make myself not so much a home, but just, you know, make myself not like... Uh, Settling <laughs> You know, in in about the religion, I generally wanted to immerse myself in in their culture and how they do things. Yeah, yeah. You want to settle in and become more of a part. Um, whereas, yeah, okay. um, I guess what I'm aware of is that I don't want to dominate the the game by just me just asking questions. Um, uh, what was the, the name of the the, the, the goddess again? Uh, Our fate here. Our the goddess of peace. Yeah. Sorry, thanks. She, he, I had never actually given her name before. Um, not in this game, no. You um, did. Um, and um, did your goddess state who you were going to war against? She was. She's not our goddess. Uh, they said. Oh no. Well, okay. Uh, she, she, uh, do you worship um, every uh, mm -hmm. god of your pantheon as your god? I respect my pantheon. Uh, is uh, each, is um, each of your pantheon your god? I think he misspoke. Um, that, that's why they were asking specifically. Is each, does he believe it, like, each of his pantheon is his god? Okay, I think mean, Was that, um... Uh, Evan, Josh, in the I honestly do not know. I just basically just respect them. I don't want to piss them off. That's more, uh, uh respect and fear. So, considering that, um, which, which gods do you, do you, if any, do you follow now? Are you asking Yodri or...? Uh, no, like I'm interspersing as a part of the general conversation of this discussion. Um, mm -hmm. I presume we're sitting down mm -hmm. at, at, at a table sharing a meal or something. Okay, so at the end of the table you see uh, a um, elf uh, with pale skin. Uh, does not look like any of the um, elves you've met before. Uh, she says her name is Arisi Kalanoff. Um, can you spell that for me? A E R I S I. Yep. K A L I N O T H. Uh, A E R I S S I K A L L I N Yep. O T H. O T H. Like all L's, a really long name. Does she go by any shortening of that? That is her shortening. No, I'm an elf. I should know better to have, have, have asked. I have shortened mine down to Thala for my fellow fellow non-elven elven people. Um, but my name's actually like almost two sentences long. <laughs> so I can't talk really. She says she follows uh, Air Alamaster and the Queen of Darkness. I happen to, to have a friend um, who um, talks to the Queen of Darkness. Um, the two uh, elemental rulers of uh, her people's belief. Uh, can you say the air elemental god's name again? Air Elemaster. Can you spell that? E L E M A S T E R. Okay, so that's actually relatively the way I imagined it was would be spelled. And Queen of Darkness is just quad in in my my book. 
It helps. Um, and um, are they uh, like the the feather knights? Are they human? Are they a mix of races? They seem to be a mix of races. Yep. Um, uh, but each of them has uh, both the air and the darkness um, okay. aspect. Um, well, um, rather than making it an inquisition, I asked them if they want to hear a tale about my friend Calprix uh, and one of her interactions with the tree, uh, with the Queen of Darkness, because I practice telling stories as a part of uh, telling my tree. Okay. So, give you a character performance roll. Um, are you okay to roll for me? My hands are still. Roll the sparkly dice again. Uh, What's a thirteen? Uh, do I add anything to that? You should. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, nice. Is that a yeah. skill? Performance plus seven. Okay, so Is the camera right? frozen again. Give Skills. me a sec. While you look it up, I'll fix the camera. Uh, I'm not sure if that's got a number plus. It just says skills. Oh, charisma. Okay. So, so you generally add um, plus three or plus four. It says. Okay, depending on which aspect you have. So for you, that would be uh, earth and darkness. So you doing the earth and darkness um, aspect. Yeah. Then you'd have plus four, and you'd have your proficiency of plus three. So it'd be plus seven. Okay. So that. Uh, is, what did you? 13, so 20, 20 on yes. natural 20 is quite a good roll. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of the best rolls I've had in recent weeks. So yes, you tell this weaving tale about... Um, Calcrix and her cup of tea, because it just seems to be, it's it's a recent memory, it's amusing, you have Herman, who's not going to love Herman, you know, the avatar of the Queen of Darkness, drinking coffee, and the priests that are... Uh, she weaves in, you know, the additional sort of side tale of Calcrix having taught the priests how to make coffee for the Avatar and and how Calcrix has had one of her coming of ages in the presence of the Queen of Darkness and had this very amusing experience of thinking that everybody's shrinking when in actual fact she's growing into a an adult, a young adult dragon. So while Thyle is having this big conversation, I'll give the other three of you a perception roll. Yeah, one of my better skills. One of my I like it how almost all of uh, the her skeptic. It just and that was not a good roll. Oh, <laughs> I have to talk to Martin about reinstating whether or not I can earn re-rolls for the table by writing new content because I've actually written new content this year. Huge. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, which is funny because that's just my passive perception, but I'm on the floor, so I really... How did Cheval go? Really interested in this story. I got six. <laughs> uh, can I use my passive perception? No. Oh. <laughs> you roll it. I like rolled seven below my passive. I rolled an eleven. So uh, apparently you're also enjoying the story. Yeah. Rather yeah. was very uh, engaging. Um. Yeah. That might bite us later, but uh, no, I don't need to talk. Yeah, we're all like, we're like, wait, that happened? Really? I don't remember that, but probably. Well, yeah, <laughs> she she told you about this <laughs> <laughs> yesterday or the day before, okay. but. Well, it was it was about one of your favourite friends, so yeah. yes, you you sat down and enjoyed the tale. Yeah. And mm -hmm. at the end of the table, there, there's a, a a loud thump when Dala finishes, yep. as you see Drazzle sit down. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm pass out. So Drazzle didn't come in with us initially, he was elsewhere? You're not sure you didn't though. Okay. Um, I like, oh hey Drazzle. He waves happily. Yep. I, I will make a mental note to hopefully ask him about it later. Um, but I won't ask in front of the table of people where he's been and what he's been up to. Uh, but maybe on the way to bed. So yes, you've been offered uh, your uh, a room with a view to spend the night. That would be as a, the tower does rise up quite high. Awesome. 
Just a few steps to go up unless you can fly. None of us um, are scared of heights, right? Don't think so. Don't think so. asks if she can spend a couple of hours in their kitchen to make some extra cookies for the Griffins. I would say no, because I'm pretty sure we spent like many weeks on the sky. We did spend quite a few weeks on the skyship, which might have started yeah. the fear of flying. Yeah. Uh, but that's flying on a skyship, no fear of heights. Yeah. You need to be drunk by your skyship. I was gonna say, weren't we more afraid of where that skyship landed us than actually the skyship itself? Was that the Isle of Dread? Yeah, yeah. Dinosaur. Yeah. And I'm sure someone will go, Kitty! Pokeball! So what do we know about shiny spherical objects that capture things? I don't know, because I was, I was out of that, out of this world, out of base, where I was for like two weeks. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what we know about no, 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 it's more like remember the plan. Don't improvise. Uh, yeah, I, don't, what, don't, don't put more magic on magical things. No, 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 works remembers out. about well, the I'm talking, is I'm talking about the uh, animal friendship oh rings that I bought that on pack. so that we can actually talk to them first. Um. And it cross the friendship on us and then poke you all them. Yeah, so that's so on the way up to bed, I'll ask Drizzle where he happened to go. Um, if he doesn't mind. He said down. Down. Down? Down. He went, went somewhere particular or? He points down. Into the bottom of the tower? He shrugged. Uh, I see. Is horse okay? Horse fine. And the cart's okay? Cart fine. Okay. Because I, I will remember seeing him putting things in the cart for the monastery, so I'm going to maybe make an assumption that maybe this is one of the stops where he had to pick something up to get to the cart. Um, does he give me any indication of whether or not I might be right? Well, you think he might be right, considering yeah. he did... There was a conversation at the last one about how the other towers would have something for me. For me. Yep, okay. And um, then you went past the tower. I put my hand on his shoulder and I'm like, I say, I'm sorry, we allowed ourselves to get distracted the first time around and it took a second time for us to come here. I will try to keep that in mind next time, considering what our friend Calfrix has told us. Here, have a newly baked hot cookie. Uh, he, he gives a uh, open <laughs> mouth smile. <laughs> um, and before I I, um, I go to bed, I go down to the stables and give out newly baked cookies to all of the griffins and all of our mounts if they want them. I don't know if the horses will eat cookies, but I know the chocobo will. Do you see chocobo hanging from one of the rafters upside down, flapping his wings? I, I don't bat an eyelid, I just hand the cookie up to him where he can reach it and to just keep on working my way down those stables. There's a lot of griffins there. Is there a lot of griffins there? About 20 here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I didn't have to do too many batches. Okay. Fortunately, so I don't think that he's a bat again. again. Yeah. Last time. He always <laughs> likes sleeping well. This is usual sleeping pattern. Yes, yeah. upside down on the rafters. Yeah. That way it's so much easier for him to bite someone coming underneath. Yep. Great. Chocobo's special move, death from above. <laughs> yeah, pretty much actually. <laughs> Why do you think he believes he can fly? He just falls on people. Yeah. <laughs> I flew! <laughs> Wait, this is what I said. Well, I don't doubt that the Griffin did mean in any harm by taking him up for a joyride. He probably asked for it. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> so the next time we go and see that um, that beholder's um, the magical menagerie or whatever, the magical uh, store or whatever. My store. Uh, yeah. I think we should get a version of those um, shoes with wings. So make, make it for uh, the chocobo. chocobo. Yeah. Oh god no. Um, so can, can, I, can you then fly? Can I slightly backtrack and ask Drazzle, has he done what he needs to do here? Should we be moving on to our next place? Or should we stay here for a bit? Drazzle, 
draws a little closest for a moment and goes, Question should be asked. Yep, okay. We'll, we'll stick around for as long as I'll have us. Or until Drazzle gives me a polite kick up the hoo-ha to start moving on. Alright. Okay, so we might finish for the night with you guys uh, talking, uh, uh, having a good night's rest with a uh, fantastic view of the surroundings. I, I will sit next to Drazzle and try and match his artistry skills, but he's a lot more practice than I have. And capture the view, and, and I'll also do a sketch of the stables and uh, Chocobo hanging upside down while he's chewing on his cookie. Because I definitely got to send that to to all my pen pals. So yes, uh, you have successfully managed to find the Feather Gal Night Spire, <laughs> which you haven't done previously. <laughs> so yes, other things are happening in the timeline. Yep. Yay! Doing free. <laughs> Not just doing It's also interesting that we've had a little bit of that portent of what's happening with the that queen, uh, the god of peace, starting a war. Because um, that kind of, like you were saying, that your character was wanting more direction, and so you're kind of grateful for going back because that direction and that structure is something your character likes a bit more. That will actually add to it because that adds to some of our purpose here, um, mm. and so that should be sort of also helping to guide you in terms of, of purpose and things that we should be doing. So previously, you you hadn't known that the goddess of peace had basically declared war. Mm. Oh, and that and that's something probably important. And it, it's not like Thala hasn't dropped like 50 hints this game that that's something we need to pay attention to. Uh. Thank you for letting Thala drop hints. Oh, good. Um, I know you could have GM vetoed that, um, so I appreciate that too. Well, having characters being able to communicate between games does come in handy. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see whether or not one of the agency support workers is going to be willing to scribe for me what we watch. <laughs> I was like, hi, these are our role-playing games. This is a video of it. I want you to take notes <laughs> because my hands are screwed. <laughs> I've got to find my gloves too. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. Um, Thanks, if you guys. want to stay on um, and chat afterwards, you can do that. Uh, mm -hmm. and we'll put it to end credits now so it can uh, finish up for the night and we can then talk so be back soon <laughs>